Breaking news in Brooklyn, at least one person is dead, several others hurt after a fire truck crashes into an ambulance in Bed-Stuy. Crews were responding to an overnight fire when the vehicles collided. CBS 2's John Diaz joins us now live from the scene on Myrtle Avenue in Bed-Stuy with more. John? Yeah, good morning, Chris. Good morning, Mary. A tragic story here at a bed in Brooklyn. Authorities telling us that one of those people injured here in this incident is a 35 year old loved one of the man that they were transporting to the hospital and now loved ones here on scene confirming with us that that loved one is actually his sister. And they tell us right now she is in a coma. She is fighting for her life. She's listed in critical condition this morning. She was just supposed to be going along on a ride with her brother to the hospital who authorities tell us was suffering from an apparent heart attack. I want to take you right out here to the scene, though. You can see uh, both vehicles out here on scene, but the fire truck right now is being towed away. Um, but you can see, though, this ambulance still right here. You can see uh, where it was kind of impacted here on its side, severely damaged. Now, this all went down just before 2 o'clock this morning. The ambulance, we are told, was traveling northbound on Thrope Avenue. Uh, police tell us that it was driving a 59 year old man to Woodhall Hospital who was suffering from an apparent heart attack. That hospital is only about a block away from where we are standing right now. And that's when police say that a fire truck that was heading westbound on Myrtle Avenue, rushing to a fire on Willoughby Avenue, crashed into the ambulance on the driver's side. Now, that ambulance then turned on its side and crashed into another vehicle that was stopped at the traffic light on Myrtle. Two people on that car suffered minor injuries. Now, we are told that that 59 year old man did die from this crash, according to loved ones here on the scene. And his sister, again, she is in a coma right now as we speak. Now, the family only found out about what happened when the sister did not respond to any text messages and phone calls from her husband. So they tracked her phone. They came here to the scene and this is what they saw. Take a listen to what loved ones had to say about all this. I can't even explain to you how is it. I, I don't even believe what happened and we all doesn't believe this is, is happened. So we didn't believe it yet because it is too, it's, it's, it's too bad. And back out here on scene, um, when it comes to the first responders, everyone is okay. We are told that uh, two EMTs and six firefighters are in stable condition uh, here this morning. Now, a highway department is still out here on scene. They're still conducting a collision investigation. As you can see, uh, they are right now towing away this fire truck as well as the ambulance and family and loved ones. They are still out here on scene. They are still, you know, coming to terms with all this. Still just a tragic story here at a bedside Brooklyn. We'll be following this throughout the morning, but for now, we are live this morning from Bedside, Brooklyn. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you so much.